Karnataka has given over 2 crore vaccine doses with over 50 lakh in, a Bengalu in Bengaluru alone. But like other states, it is facing the challenges of sustaining the vaccination drive momentum. The Delta Plus variant and black fungus and the opening up uh, after the lockdown are challenges. The Health Minister, Dr. K. Sudhakar, spoke exclusively to my colleague Maya Sharma. As Health Minister, with the inputs that you've been getting, the different studies and the data, when do you expect the third wave to reach us? See, before any wave coming in, as we all know that every pandemic, like in Spanish uh, flu that we have witnessed in 18, uh, 1918 and 1919, there were about three waves, but the second wave there also was the very steep one. Uh, similarly, here also we have witnessed the second uh, you know, wave to be such a huge surge across the country. And now since that the Delta variant was first witnessed in India, this has been the most uh, contagious and virulent uh, variant in the world today. Uh, this has gone to other countries also now and we are witnessing the same kind of development in those countries as well. So nevertheless regarding the third wave, if I have to say that only the two doses of vaccine and the COVID preventive behavior of individuals can prevent any successive waves in my opinion. Uh, so this has to be the order and we all have to be uh, very, very conscious about our behavior. Even in spite of we taking a two doses of vaccine, we need to continue this till more than 70% of the population in the country is inoculated. Do you have any time frame for the third wave in terms of when it would actually arrive? Under clinicians report according to them, uh, we have a TAC committee where they have predicted it takes minimum of 100 to 120 days for a new wave to break out. So we, we need to keep that, so we have a 120 days window, uh, we need to uh, ramp up our vaccination process as high as possible. And that is exactly what Karnataka is doing. If you have seen a uh, few days back in the vaccination Mela day, we were the highest in South India and we were the second highest in the entire country. So we inoculated almost like 11 lakh 26 thousand uh, uh, people in Karnataka. And even today, it's a great day to tell you and announce that Bangalore alone has uh, inoculated about 50 lakh people today. You spoke about the third wave arriving within 100, 120 days. Are you confident that Karnataka would have vaccinated enough people by then to be prepared for that wave? Uh, I think in another three months that we have, uh, we will be uh, vaccinating another three crore in my opinion. As of today, we have vaccinated 2.2 crore. That will take us about 5.2 crores. It is, a, uh, it is a really great number. In my opinion, more than 50% of the population by then, they would have received uh, two doses of vaccine and 70 to 80% of the people would have received at least one dose of vaccine, which is still good enough for me uh, to prevent this third wave. And I really honestly feel that third wave will not be as scary as what we are all anticipating it to be.